conditional requirements, we'll say, in these, par in, in these sentences. So can a department request for waiver be granted by the first selectman and finance director without the board of selectmen approval? Yes. Because it says further. It doesn't say... It further well, means also. I mean, you know, it's also further additionally. So to me, the way I read it's that, it's an alternative. I have it's lawyers a, here, yeah. is waivers have to be approved by the board of selectmen and the, the department. These aren't, uh, these are not, um, these are separate circumstances, cir separate scenarios, if you will. Okay, I understand the scenario for the for the second one, if a department head needs something. Mm -hmm. What's the scenario for the first one? It could be almost an emergency. It could be, it you could know. It could be a department head. It, it could, could be well, whatever. It could be the holes in the roof of the police uh, department building have become so large that we're not going to make it through the month of October. So in that case, the decision to c bring it to the Board of Selectmen would be made by the first selectman. Or made on my yes. own. Or on his or her own. Yeah. Alternatively, if the first selectman won't waive it, the board of selectmen could override him. Well, one one deals right. with the is that how you is that, that that's how I read that. Except the board, the first selectman makes the agenda. <laughs> I'm just. Saying. Or the finance director says I'm not comfortable with this. Yeah. Right. She could yeah. say I'm not comfortable with yeah. this, mm -hmm. and then so I'll bring it to the board of selectmen. How about if we disagree? Is that in there? Do we both have to say you yes? You both have to it say yes. yes. The way I read it, you both have to say yes unless the board is selected over. Oh, boy. You're looking at two different approaches to solve. The, the, the problem that needs to be solved is that you can't uh, avoid the way. You need you need to get a waiver. Make it simple, yeah. right? And there's two ways of doing it. One is to alter the quote or bid requirements, and that would be done through the board of selectmen. Uh, the other way is... Uh, directly uh, to the first selectman where you alter the, th the dollar threshold. Yes. So it's another way to get around. So you have two alternative ways yes. of circumventing the waiver requirement. Yeah. Does that make sense? Thanks. Yeah, that's, that's very much on point. That's what we're dealing with. The, so the, the, the one is altering the dollar amounts. The other is could be just, just getting rid of the bid yes. requirement altogether. Right, maybe and that there's would be some. The, the, the board yeah. could do that. Paul, yeah. for, the example, work so for example, yeah. using a short form bid would alternatively package. Alternatively, be better than further. Right. I, I just alternatively instead of further with that. The lawyers have looked at this. I am not a lawyer, no, so lawyers have. Well, well, these lawyers. Well, I think the word further gives you another option. It's not necessarily alternative. It's just out there. So okay. further is much more neutral word. We'll say. Right. You have to be. Mm -hmm. I trust. I, I mean, just generally in this, I have to say, I think it's it's not written in legalese. I mean, I think it's pretty well standard English. Um, there's no heretofores, no <laughs> thereafters. Yeah, and I wanted so to throw forth. a couple of those in there. I, 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 I made a very much a concerted effort yeah, you, not to do that. Really so, um, that. but I did. Well, I, when I'm up here, if I could just make some comment about that second paragraph of section one about the Board of Ed. So when I first came on to this project, I thought the Board of Ed had a purchasing policy that was written. And as it turns out, it doesn't seem to be the case. So they're looking to us, uh, meaning okay. the rest of the town, to come up with a policy, a written policy, which they will try to utilize and <coughs> adopt in their own way. So the the recommendation was made somewhere along the way that we have some some language in here that encourages them to use anything they can out of this policy until such time as they adopt their own and then to remind them that capital projects undertaken by the town for the benefit of East Lime schools will will proceed in accordance with this policy which is a I think that we're trying it's to get one of get the last at, things we added yeah we're yeah. trying to get at that issue and just be has that been a problem in the past, with um, capital I can't items without coming to the town, I can't speak to that. Um, but yes. I, I believe it has. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's worth adding it. In no. the but just that's my understanding yes. of the history of that. So. Um, it was put on record the other evening as I went to the board of education meeting that they said that they had a a uh, purchasing policy. I, honestly, so. I will say here, 
Um, I, I, believe I am not clear on this because I understood, yes, there was. Then I asked and I was told no. So I, I've been working under the, with the assumption yep. that there is not a written purchasing policy. And maybe there's not a written one. Right, and right. maybe right. it operated like ours yes, did yeah. and does. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, and so much of what they do involves grants, for grants and so forth. Yeah. So, yeah. But yeah. they were looking for to us for this Good. additional help. Good. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. Other comments? How would you like to proceed? There's, um, there's a whole... So, if, if you don't mind, Mark, yes, just sir. before you go to the proceed, the, the local bidder option, we, we discussed this. I don't think there was um, an absolute against it. There was con concern. Well, my concern was that if you have this in there, you may not get your best foot forward on your bidders. That if they have the 10% clause, well, I'm just going to add 10% to the next last one and play my bets that somebody else doesn't put in there. That was a concern. But my concern. But I see the reason for it. I get it. Ten percent on this one. Ten percent seems kind of high. But mm -hmm. so, um, as it as it's written, how, how would you like to proceed? Uh, we've talked about the board of ed piece. It's in there. Um, I too don't know if we need to recommend to the board of ed in, in our policy. Um, I think that's more of a. And maybe a letter from, you know, listen, we're all going to stare them down. And I know, gosh, I know Mrs. Piccarazzi is going to eat them up when they come bring their budget uh, for next March and going, where's your policy, you know, and, and how are you doing? And you, you buy the cheapest textbooks or the best quality textbooks for the lowest money possible. I, they're going to get that anyway. And they do get that anyway. So I'm not, I'm not sure if we need to recommend that the Board of Ed adhere to applicable. I, I kind of like your point and, and, um, as that stands out. I understand why it's in there. I totally understand why it's in there. Hopefully they'll take the, the cue that they're being given to get their yeah. um, their policy in order. One option is when we approve this policy, you can forward to them for information and consideration, yeah. the recommendation that they, they you know, the numbering in here is a mess. <laughs> no offense. Um, at least I, I, I have one page that it's um, my uh, Page eight says ninety-eight. Uh, it's it's nine, crossed out, right? It's, no, no, no. It's, oh, it's, it's crossed underlined. out. It was, it was because when, oh, when this underlined. word document started with number two, and it should so be number one. So that's a nine, not yeah. an eight. Okay. Right. That's that all that is. wasn't clear on. on that's what that is. Like All it is is somebody didn't do accept changes. The, if you you printed that with the, right. the changes. So shall on. we? Um, I guess we could probably adopt this. Maybe someone when they make the motion will take out the board of ed reference. To the on board that mark, I, I still think the second think? sentence is important. So as a reminder that if you're coming before the town with a purchase. Um, for capital improvement, that it has to follow these guidelines. Okay. How about if it doesn't say it has to follow? It says these further guidelines. procurement of capital projects well, undertaken by the town. How about, how about if? Oh, okay. How about in that second part, you get rid of the first sentence and the word further, and just say procurement for I'm fine. capital po fine projects fine. undertaken yeah. by the town for the benefit of East Lamb School shall proceed in accordance with? Because then it. I get it. Okay. I'm fine with that. So I'll make a procurement. Oh. Now, do they, <laughs> on the capital items, does the town purchase them for the school or does the school purchase it themselves? <laughs> if it's a capital? Because this says undertaken by the town. Are but every the capital plan is through the town. The, that's the plan. But who actually executes the purchase order? So, Tell me. Okay, so, mm -hmm. so, for example, um, the school building projects that are going on now, um, that fund is, uh, you know, under the control of the town. Um, we issue town purchase orders for the project. However, the project is managed by the town building committee. So, um, the town, um, the chair of the town building committee, every time the building committee meets, he comes in to see me. 
um, gives me information on what purchase orders need to be, um, you know, be um, taken out um, mm -hmm. for the project, and then also brings um, building committee approved invoices. I for think we payments. should use better examples, so, but I will say I think the town building committee is acting as the school building committee in this particular project. Correct. So then who are they really? But let's say the, the, the pool dehumidifier. Maybe that's a bad example because we mixed money on that one. The computers, um, every year they come before the us. The annual one. computer purchase. The, for, the, for the computer purchases, um, for the, schools. The, board, the schools use, um, they do go out to bid and they use um, uh, Board of Education approved rates. For but the they have to go through the appropriation of, of the Board of Selectmen, Board of Finance, and Town Meeting. Right. That's Therefore, correct. this would they would have to adhere to this. That was my understanding. That was intention. Do I they or don't they? I'm not sure if we've got three bids on the computers and such. Well, I just mean the policy doesn't exist yet. So well, for the computers. But we've been holding them to. I mean, I remember one meeting that Jeff was held to this standard. Well, the <laughs> they he just remembers it well. The computer, <laughs> the dehumidifiers. I do believe they had. They did get bids for that, well, but. They did not bring that information yeah, with true. them to the that's meeting. True. They did a lot more work than they showed. If you remember, um, at the town meeting when we were doing the appropriations, um, the uh, IT director from the board got up and did say, you know, did represent to the board that she did do an RFP process for the computer equipment. So, are those all considered capital projects? Are the computers considered capital? No. Not okay. Yeah. So if we say capital projects, it's not fully def defining all the times that they come before our two boards. Should we say capital improvement projects and appropriations um, requiring a town okay, what, meeting? What, what um, page are you on right now? Page, page one. one. Okay. Yeah. It's it's the board of education comment paragraph two. Um, we just want to make sure when they're coming before the selectmen and the finance and the town meeting that they're adhering to this standard, not their own. So that threshold, that threshold is 20,000. 20,000. 20? I thought it was 20,000 for a town 25. meeting. 25. Okay. 25. So perhaps we would just include any purchases over 25,000 yeah, yeah. that require a town meeting. Regardless of whether it's can we do that to the board of ed? Though? Well, yeah, yeah. Any rec any purchases over twenty five thousand that require a town meeting is what she said. So yeah. yes, we could if they come in before us. Yeah, they spend twenty five thousand dollars every ten minutes over there. But it, no, no, they, but they do. But but when it comes before us, they need to adhere to this policy. And we're all agreeing on that. We just got to figure out how to say it to so make sure they hold to it. I like that. Any purchases over twenty five thousand dollars that were that requires a town meeting for approval. I mean, it would be nice if Jeff were here to hear it say. Yeah, I was going to say if we're going to oh, impose yeah, a requirement like that, oh, I'm he's watching. Uh, yeah, I'm sure he is. Uh, uh, they, uh, they just placed a one year contract for their computer services for three hundred fifty seven thousand dollars. They just approved it at their last meeting. That didn't come before us. That's because, I would venture to say that's because that's something that's included in their operating budget. I, I would agree. So is it only 25000 only for capital items that have to come to the town? So when we go, when we go out for town meetings during the course of a fiscal year, it's to do a special appropriation that was not included in, in the, the budget. budget. Right. And so, you know, there's, you know, several different, you know, uh, processes that that are involved here because so there are the some capital projects that are in the budget you know in our annual adopted budget that could exceed 25,000 so you have that type of capital expenditure if you will then you have special appropriation capital um, expenditures and then you also have special appropriation project um, capital projects mm -hmm. so there is a whole multitude of um, of items. So how do we how do we put that into English? All of those. With this many words. Um, 
Right now it says procurement for capital projects undertaken by the town for the benefit of the East Lime schools shall proceed in accordance with the provisions of this policy. So it's capital projects and we should include um, capital projects or items or any items requiring a, um, a, a, a town meeting. What about this 350 that's their per that's, that's their, their purchasing policy. That was for t that's for computer services. For all the computer services, and it's like our star computers. Right, but don't we want that? That's a big purchase. Don't we want that to be? You can't. What do you mean you can't? It doesn't go to. It doesn't go through our pro pro appropriations. It was in their budget. You approve the their budget. That's the board education's program. Um, they're just spending their budget, is what they're doing right now, at a board education meeting. Mm -hmm. um, I hope that they got their best deal, and you can. We'll find out, I'm sure. Um, I, I, I just think we only have teeth when they're coming before us. We only can apply this when they're coming before us. They're on their own as far as spending the money, as we know. We give them a chunk of money, they can do what they want with it. Um, state statutes, I'm not suggesting they are doing anything but being good stewards with our money. But um, the question comes down to Procurement for capital projects requiring a town meeting. Undertaken or, or for capital projects and other appropriations undertaken by the town for the benefit of the town for the East Lime schools that require a town meeting shall proceed in accordance with the provisions of this policy. That's what it is. Good job, Mark. Go ahead, say it, Anna. My recommendation again would be that we delete the paragraph. And if we can't govern directly any or only a small portion of their purchasing policies, then we should recommend that they have their own that doesn't conflict with ours. Now, I don't know if they're limited to the 25,000 based on statutes, all those other things that we've done that the committee did the research on here. If it applies to Board of Education, like it applies to the town or not. I know there's a separation of Board of Ed processes in, in the town for the right reasons. And to put something like that in the policy without fully understanding what it is we want them to be accountable to us for outside of a, you know, they would have to go to a town meeting if they wanted to get something new that wasn't in their capital plan already. That was it's, we're not changing the appropriation process in town. All we're spelling out is when you do have to come before us, um, you better have your three bids. And when you don't have to come before us, you can do what you want. Yeah, absolutely. We're not changing their, the way that they do business. We can't. Why would There's we no want legal to, recourse? And why would we want to change it for an emergent item? Because the budget went before a town meeting too. Their uh, capital budget went before, right? Right, yeah. but we have to do it all the time. But on, when they come, okay, but when you think about it, uh, um, for special appropriations, there is a process. They First, they come to the Board of Selectmen. The Board of Selectmen hears their request and makes the decision on whether or not to approve it and, and forward it to the Board of Finance. Then at the Board of Finance level, they have the same opportunity to ask those questions and make a decision on whether or not okay. to approve it and then once the two boards approve it at, at that point in time it goes it goes to the town meeting okay. well, that, that's the stuff we're asking them we're considering asking them to adhere to this policy for right Correct. just reminding them when they come before them. And really we're just stating the, the obvious okay procedure, uh, maybe the next iteration of this, this, this well we, we can ask them to consider using for their stuff going forward. Like, at least we catch some stuff yeah. in this route. Right. In this route. Hmm. Thank you. What's your pleasure? You want to clean it up and then vote on it next time? Do you want to vote on it tonight? 
The only concern I have, if we've made a change to that paragraph and possibly asking the Board of Ed, it's nice to get, in, I, my only thought is, it's nice to get their input as to, you know, at least give them a chance to respond to it before we adopt a policy. But, you know, that's just a personal feeling. Anyone else? <coughs> Anybody um, want to make a recommendation uh, or a motion? Uh, okay, Do you want to table it? I would like to see, if we're going to make revisions, I'd like to see a revised copy. Okay, Just read through it, it again and, exactly. and, and satisfy myself. I, I agree. I'll, would everybody mind if we also cleaned up the, this cro the cross, what do you call it, the cross outs and the highlight parts? Oh, yeah, and just accept changes. Get a clean <laughs> yeah. copy. Yeah. yeah. So okay. let's have that be the goal to get clean copies. Well, what's the matter? <laughs> I just, I don't know what copy you have. Well, maybe I'm dealing with an old we copy. Have the, yeah, I have a draft. We have the track change copy that has the yeah, line notes in it. Uh, yeah, I, put, I changed the date. July 8th. July, our date is July, July, July 8th of 2018. So there's the Ju July 9th copy. Oh. All right, so let's make sure we have the, clean. yeah, let's get the clean. I think we should try yeah. to yeah. make sure we all have the laser. Okay. Grade. Yeah, I forwarded no, it. I so I, no, 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 no. I'm not okay. We might be working off it. Well, I don't know if there okay. was any there other was changes. A, there was a final. There was a final one, couple where there little was tweaks. some right yeah. that last. Okay. And that was actually into July nine, because I, th I think I. Sorry about that, folks. I guess. Okay. okay. So okay. we'll make sure so that gets sent in. Look okay, out. Uh, that up. We'll clean so the we'll make these changes that yeah. were being suggested. Out. Okay. Okay. And um, I'm uh, you, uh, you, uh, Sandy. You're taking copious minutes over there. Um, okay. So maybe some of the other suggestions that Paul pointed out, I'd like to just I'll take a look at them, and we can take a look at it as a board um, on October, well, next meeting, this, this okay. second meeting of September. Um, well, just to make sure we are square. Yeah. Okay. Do we want to, uh, as a courtesy, send it to the Board of Ed? I'll, yeah. I'll sp I just, will send it to so Jeff yeah, and let him know that, you know, and he knows already Again, he got a hard lesson in that. When you're going before the commissions yeah. in the town, you should follow these procedures. And he is already doing that. Yep. Um, he, we have already, we've really already implemented this other than the threshold implementation, mm -hmm. and that will be done immediately. All right. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you <laughs> I don't know what it is, Lisa. Every time you show up to a meeting, it goes long. <laughs> the other common denominator, Lisa. I, 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 I wouldn't put this one on Lisa. <laughs> this is the latest we've <laughs> ever. Uh, appreciate your hard work uh, and your comments tonight, Lisa. Yeah, I can only imagine. Um, <laughs> and thank you, uh, Dan and, and Mr. Salerno and Mr. Team Cunningham. Up. Thank you for your service and hard, hard work on this. This is, oh, this was a beast. Good night. Yeah. We're getting down to the end. Ex officio reports? Um, anyone? Just real quick, the building commission met. Obviously, everything was opened on time. Um, I think there's about a million dollars of contingency left. There's, it's slowly getting eaten away with um, things that they're finding um, that was expected, and that's, well, unexpected, but um, that we budgeted for. Uh, planning met. Um, they approved the, uh, the two, two lot resubdivision up at Walnut Hill. They had um, a continuation of public hearing for Spring Rock Road. That's been, um, they, they got uh, public and that's been um, I think continued. Um, still waiting for the uh, Inland Wetland uh, approval or denial. That's all I have. Uh, yeah. uh, Parks and Rec uh, met last month. They just went over a couple of things. They updated uh, revenues for the summer and so forth like that. Uh, one of the things Dave pointed out, and this was just recent too, even on July 4th, we did not hit capacity for parking this year. So there was always parking available. Uh, maybe not in the lower lot, but you may have to go up to the top lot, but there was parking at uh, McCook's uh, this year. Throughout this, yeah, throughout yeah, the season. Throughout this year. It was a good season, and <coughs> uh, so people know now that if you have a dog, you can bring him into McCook's right now. It's after the Labor Day. So, not uh, on the boardwalk. Not on the boardwalk at all, ever. People. 
Yeah, but uh, I, I, noticed, a, yeah. I noticed several uh, several dogs uh, over the last uh, day or so up at uh, McCook's, all under leash and being properly uh, cared for. Okay. Mr. Cunningham, what do you got? I noticed my lab was kind of salty and uh, sandy. I wonder if my daughter was down there. Ah. But anyhow, um, so Historic Properties Commission, the uh, there's this issue they've been wor working on, and they're really trying to manage you know, all these various collections in the different. Uh, you have the, you know, you have the uh, Brookside Farms, and you have uh, the Lee House, and, and you have the Historic Properties Commission, and um, you, you have all these artifacts and items that they're trying to uh, categorize and track and understand what they have, and you have two or three different systems that are uh, that exist in the town for doing that. And they're trying to find a way to coalesce these various systems so that eventually they can upload that da data to it. There's a state of Connecticut has a system that they're trying to uh, be compatible with. So um, that's really the focus of, of uh, their efforts right now to come up with a, a database for these various different uh, groups of things that they own. So we know what they have and we can get our hands on them and uh, know what's out there and where it came from. And what it means to, to the various uh, um, houses that mm -hmm. they're affiliated with. So that's uh, that was the topic of conversation the other night. The uh, b barbecue uh, bike and barbecue is coming up, and hopefully that's going to be well attended. I, the uh, indications are that that, that they're going to have a pretty good uh, year again this year. So okay. it's it's gaining momentum. So let's hope that they make a few dollars for those. Uh, Historical properties. That's it. Awesome, Mr. D. Uh, as stated earlier, the Inland Wetlands Agency is still deliberating on the uh, Twin Valley 23 lot subdivision on Green uh, Valley Lakes Road. They also received an application for 120 uh, residential units uh, at um, Gateway second phase of the sound view uh, they have not detailed that initially for the next meeting but that will include road improvements and work in the wetlands so they'll be uh, working through the details of that um, harbor management and shellfish commission have uh, submitted three names to the governor to replace mr dick morris their number one recommend recommendee is ron johnson who's a retired weatherfield police officer a past shellfish warden and uh, a uh, marine patrol officer. They also are in uh, possession of and in deliberations of a revised well school plan for aquaculture in the Niantic River. And the Board of Education uh, uh, nominated and approved the vote Ryan Schrader as a replacement for Al Littlefield on the board. Uh, they also announced that they received a $20,000 grant uh, to bring a suicide education programs into the Eastland schools at $10,000 per year for the next two years. And that's all I have. Mark, can I have two things? Sure. Just to follow up uh, the dogs on the boardwalk, just so people know that service dogs are allowed. I know someone that has disabilities that was harassed for having their service dog. Um, with it with him on the boardwalk thank you for correcting me yep and um the um kudos to the police department i had a friend who's also an elected official that received one of those uh heinous uh, calls threatening that their uh, their oh. child was being abducted and stuff like that and uh, they called the police and they handled it very well um, so just kudos to the police department on that police are doing a great job and their, their, their motto is just to put everything out, to communicate to the public through social media or otherwise. And, um, and, and, and it's not just, uh, it's a way to get the people, the public involved in what they're doing and also recognize the work that they, the mighty tasks that they have in the, in the crazy world we live in. But it's, it's also helped catch a lot of people by yeah. doing that. Well, uh, schools are open. And uh, our elementary schools, uh, all three are under construction. Um, uh, construction teams worked hard all summer. Uh, our, our fire marshal's office and our building office made sure that the schools are safe 
I have safe conditions in them so that when the kids are in the school, there's fire, fire exits are still being observed and there's multiple ways out of buildings and that the uh, construction equipment um, are not in the way of, of kids and um, you know, there's no danger there. I had one hot parent I talked to, um, um, pretty hot, uh, if it, but, but apparently in speaking to Mr. Newton over at the schools, uh, very smooth and pa parents have been understanding, the kids have been great about this. All the kids got hard hats on their first day of school. <laughs> you saw the picture of the paper, they're all wearing hard, you know, little plastic hard hats, they're kind of cute, you know. This is gonna be the year of construction and it will always be remembered for this. But we're gonna end up with three great elementary schools, three neighborhood schools and that's um, ultimately probably the best for our, our town. I went to a pig roast today at the senior center. Man, the, the poor pig. Um, I don't know if you've ever been to a pig roast, but they're staring up at you with the apple in the mouth, and he's looking at you going, why'd you do this to me? And uh, the seniors are the great there, and they had a great time over at McCook's. The Miracle League it continues to make money. There was a wiffle ball tournament. There's several other things that happened. Um, they're, they're also playing a big gala, and I hope you all go. Um, in in mid-November, it's gonna be at Mohegan Sun. Uh, there's going to be big name sports stars there, um, and um, they're at about two hundred thousand dollars raised, wow. which is a big number for less than a year. And most of the town, most of that money coming from within our town. Um, I think we talked about it in August, but Costco um, is signed, sealed, and delivered. They uh, showed up to our town. They met with all our department heads. They've already gotten pre-approvals. Um, and are asking questions about you know what kind of material and how many exits and how many feet from the door must this be and uh, they're they're very organized when they when they come in they already know the answers and they're gonna just build the building that we told them to build and allowed them to build so our folks have been very